Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Tutorialini Test Prep. Today we'll be going over lesson number one on how to use the Casio FX991EX scientific calculator for the digital SAT math. Simplifying radicals. Please note that I will only be covering uses where Casio outshines Desmos. I recommend you use Desmos for most questions. Let's get started. So, if you didn't know this, um, Desmos does not have the capability to simplify square roots. As a matter of fact, most graphing calculators, like the very popular T84 plus CE, does not have, do not have the native capability to do that either. So, on the Casio FX991EX, you can do this very easily. All you need to do is type in whatever radical expression you're trying to simplify, and it will do it for you. So, um, you're just going to start on the command line where the little blinky guy is. And let's, for example, do square root 75. And then press enter. And it tells me that square root of 75 is 5 square root 3. Okay. At this point, why don't you pause the video, see if you can do the rest of them. Okay, let's keep going. So we'll do square root of 80. And that tells me 4 square root of 5. Let's try square root of 108. And we get 6 root 3. And now a much harder one, where I think this would save a lot of time, the one at the bottom, 2 square root 50. And then I'm going to press the right arrow key to exit the square root symbol, minus 4 square root 8. And then I'm going to press the right arrow key to exit the square root symbol again. Then I press Enter. And it tells me this guy is equal to 2 square root of 2. So. This can be very helpful on the test every once in a while. So this tends to kind of pop up when you see a geometry question, usually a geometry question pertaining to special right triangles. So I looked through all the four tests that are up to the, at the time of the recording of this video, and I found one question where this was pretty helpful. So let me show you. So I already went over how to do this one in my practice test one video. So please go watch that video if you're not sure where to begin. I'm going to kind of skip to the end. So um, an isosceles right triangle is a special name for a 45-90 triangle, which is in the reference sheet. And basically, this problem asks you to set up a... Um, triangle that looks like this, 58, and you get 58 over square root 2 and 58 over square root 2. So it asks you to find the perimeter. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to do 58 plus 58 over square root 2 plus 58 over square root 2. And simplifying that is actually a good bit of work. It would probably take you another at least 20 or 30 seconds to do by hand. And of course, there's a chance you might make a mistake, right? So let's go to the calculator here. And we're going to do 58 plus, And now we're going to press the fraction bar. So 58 over square root 2. And then I press the right arrow key to leave the, frac the radical. And then I press the right arrow key again to leave the fraction bar. I'm going to do plus fraction bar again. 58 over square root 2. And again, I'm going to double tap right to leave um, that fraction bar and the radical. And now I press Enter. And it tells me 58 plus 58 square root 2. And that is answer choice C, which is our answer. So as you guys can see, 
now that there's no no calculator section anymore, as long as you have a calculator like this, you you pretty much no longer have to simplify numerical radicals. So this can be really helpful. OK, that completes the lesson. Please like and subscribe for more digital SAT math content. If you are interested in my tutoring services, the link to my website will be in the description. I tutor all sections of the SAT and all math subjects from about seventh grade to AP slash early college level. Thanks for stopping by and good luck studying.